come back from the future. So some of you had mentioned that it's too difficult to tell the difference between past me and, you know, me, me, future me. So, uh, I thought I'd throw something in to help the process. These are an old pair of glasses. And actually, this is convenient, but it's not why I'm wearing these. Uh, we were playing dodgeball, or bomber ball as we call it at Walden for some reason. We were playing bomber ball today in gym, and I got hit in the face, and my glasses flew off. But I don't know if it was the hit or the fact that they fell really hard on the ground, but they broke in half, and not just like a lens. It would have been it would have been fine if a lens had just popped out. No, they broke right in the center. So I went the day I went through the day without any glasses. And I didn't have any contacts either, so I had to kind of squint during classes, which was not very fun in math. Um, so then when I got home, I tried to like super glue them back together. But as usual, the only thing that that resulted in is me having dry fingers from where the, they were super glued. Um, so my mom just found some of my old pairs, and I picked these because I thought they looked the best because they're like the second biggest because the, the, I have these smaller ones, but they look kind of stupid. So, Zach, um, now you can tell the difference between past me and future me, which is, you know, me, me. So that's, that's convenient for you. Also, Tristan brought this up a while ago. The reason I call myself future me is because I'm my past self's future self, I guess. I mean, I... It would be it would be kind of weird if I said like present me. Well, it wouldn't be that weird, but I don't know. This, this is just how the original the original guy did it, Christopher Bingham. So I don't know. I'm just kind of going that by by that standard. So tomorrow is Milan's school's formal, so we're going to that. That should be fun. Um, and then I think next Saturday, maybe, is Walden's formal. And I'm really excited to go back to IHOP, as, as usual. Uh, last time we were there, during after, after homecoming, I had a really bad nosebleed at IHOP. So, hopefully that won't happen, but... Um, 